pals, it's me, Brian, for Spooky Laters here, okay. Here with another hunted doll, Mrs. Nunzi. You guys all remember when I got Miss Nunzi? Um, one of my YouTube fans sent me this doll, okay? The brief little history I did get in regards to Miss Nunzi. Well, she didn't have a name. Um, I gave her that name, Miss Nunzi. Um, it's a very cool looking doll right here, though, for sure. I mean, the details are just amazing. You can see her eyes are freaking awesome. Now, part of the deal was um, uh, the lady who sent this doll to me said that she felt and her family felt like these eyes were just constantly following them throughout the house. Every time they were in the area where the doll was, the doll just, uh, I guess, seemed like it was watching her. I've been trying to get, because when I put this doll by my son's, um, one of those little claw machines where you put a token in and it's one of those home ones you buy and he's got little things. Every time I put this doll by that, it randomly goes off by itself. I've tried to catch it on video. I haven't got it on video yet. I'll keep trying. Um, that was weird. First day we got this doll, uh, the ceiling fans, this one right up here went off as we put this doll in there and my wife flipped the fuck out, okay? Because we didn't turn the power on, we didn't do nothing, it just started spinning on its own. Believe it or not, that's up to you guys. I can tell you what I know and what I've seen um, and basically give you documentation that that did happen. Um, it's up to you whether you wanna process that information as bullshit or real. I don't give a fuck. Um, definitely a cool looking doll, so let's go ahead and break her down. Um, I know in the original video, it was listed as a man's doll, we, looked, we joked, um, it is a man's doll because it's mine now. Um, came with this little stand, this cool little stand. Just like um, Miss Scarlet has a stand like this. Part of the original story too, I'll go ahead and uh, reiterate that one again, was um, the lady who sent this to me, I, I think it was at a garage sale site or a rummage site or something, and there was a little girl and the lady was looking at this doll and the little girl supposedly says you can have that doll and and, the, and apparently the lady asked well how much and she says no you can have the doll you can go ahead and take her and that's you know I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure she ended up paying for it gave her some money or bought some other things and maybe took this doll no matter what free I don't know the full gist on that one um, but what she did tell me is when she did accept this doll and they're finished doing what they're doing, the little girl ran to the mother and said, she's gone, she's gone for good. Then hence, the time that this individual had this doll, these eyes seemed like they were watching her. Um, that's just the information I got. I don't know how much truth is that, I can't tell you. Got this little rosary bead right here. It, it is a man's doll. <laughs> it does just sound so funny saying that all the time. Um, you see all that right there. Ooh, she looks creepy like that. She's like bald under there, man. It's creepy, huh? Oh, shit. Fucking her brains, man. Oh, shit, I never took that off. Oh, look at this. It's like uh, a styrofoam. Oh, lordy. I've never messed with this at all. Oh, look at this. It's like a skull cap, man. Isn't that fucked up? Oh, shit, look at this. You see that? Oh my god, if you can see in there in the eyes, there's like a blue and yellow piece of thing. <laughs> that is fucking creepy, ain't it? Oh, lordy. Ah, my, nah. Oh, I don't know what to say. That's kind of really coolly, cool and creepy at the same time. Hold on one second. Let me, let me make sure, because I, I, I got ultra high, uh, ultra high def with my Galaxy 7 but it only records 10 minute intervals, so I gotta make sure it don't stop, but I'll put this right there. I'm five minutes even, so let me see if I can't finish this in five minutes. I doubt it. But look at that. Can you see that? That's creepy. I'll stick a flashlight. Hold on. I'm gonna pause this video. I'm resuming. All right. For everything Halloween, this is not Hunt Former. <laughs> Sorry I had to do that. Check it out. I'll put the flashlight in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. That's creepy. Y'all see it now? I don't know if y'all see that. It's kinda cool. Um, I got four minutes, and if not, I gotta go ahead and redo this whole thing. Well, I'll do another another bit. Um, I've never taken the clothes off. I never really looked at this doll in full depth and detail. 
Uh, I wonder if I can get it off. See that? You know what? The stitching is not going to come off here. So it looks like it's kind of stitched there. So I really can't do that. But from what you see here, it's kind of just like a stuff, real hard stuff thing. And you can see that cotton stuff inside there. I believe you probably can. Oh my God, that's as creepy as hell with a head like that. And, and the little skull cap. That is some fucking mad scientist shit there. Um, all right, so let me, let me lift her back up or velcro her back up. Has she ever watched us? Um, I don't know. I walk through all the time and I kind of always look at her eyes and it is kind of creepy. Um, she's got porcelain hands. Porcelain hands. Piece of metal. You hear that? It's porcelain. Um, in case y'all want need to see those eyes a little bit better. You see that? Those are some wickedly cool eyes. looks kind of cool from this angle when I was doing that look inside I don't know if you can see inside we scary all right all right let me restart this I think I'm almost at my 10 minute mark so before we go any further okay so I don't know if y'all see that lightning and thunder and shit going on back there but this is awesome so I thought I'd be doing it it'd be a good time to do it tonight um if you can see she does have little pants I could have lift her skirt up or her dress or uh, I don't know what you call this your church gown um, so I'm gonna here I am again going all dollar file uh, taking her clothes off for y'all's pleasure um, <laughs> she got padded booty my booty's padded my padded booty Ooh, my name is big booty Judy um, she looks kind of old she's got some dirty stains here um, Got no no shit marks or nothing. She, no, she, no, she wiped her ass pretty good. Um, let's put those pull these bad boys back up. Uh, she's got these cute little socks. They're cute little socks. I think I just knocked them down or the leggings. Let me put these back, man, because I don't want her to really hump my ass. They're actually very cute. If you can see them up close. And her shoes are, they look like little leather shoes with little shoe strings and everything. All right, let me get this flashlight. Y'all see that? They got like leather shoes and this little frilly stuff. Nice little soles. I dig these shoes. <laughs> these are kind of cool. Um, look at her. Those eyes just creep me out. I, I wouldn't blame that lady who sent me this or saying that those eyes feel like they're watching her and her family. I mean, those, those are some pretty wicked eyes, though. I'm going to bring her skirt down or her dress. I don't know what this is called, the mom dress, the, the nun dresses. Um, and this nun the dress. For sure. Um, you can see that there's a little cross right there. That's pretty cool, huh? You know how they have a build a bear and they have a little heart? You see the stuff in inside there? I wonder if there's like a little heart in there. Do 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 do. <laughs> Ooh, that's some creepy stuff. Um, I'm gonna put your skull cap back on. I don't think I like that. Like this. Like that. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I'm a brain surgeon, man. That's fucking crazy. That's cool though. Um, You can see, this is like a little veil that goes on her, nothing special. Kind of cool. I guess it went like this. I'll try to get it back on the right way.
totally different with this back on. So, this is Miss Nunzi. That's the story of Miss Nunzi. Um, I haven't seen any paranormal activity as of yet with her. Um, but she is definitely a cool, unique doll. I mean, she's kind of eerie and creepy all the time. You hear all that thunder back outside? Pretty creepy. It's odd. Alright, here's the box that she came in. And, uh, she came with some glasses. The glasses are in there. Um, but this was the original box that she came in. It says, uh, Collection Doll. Seymour Man, each doll represents excellent value for both the series collectors. Um, that's the box. Hold on, I got this thing over here. Oh, you know what? Well, here's, here's the thing. See that? It says, congratulations on our acquisition of this handcrafted doll. This edition is limited to 2,500 dolls. So there's only 2,500 of them. That's 2,500 in case some of you guys don't understand what that means. Okay. And there's that. That's the doll collector. But I didn't notice this last time. It says Mary. Like Sister Mary, Mother Mary. But, oh well. I named her as Nunzi. Um, and then it came with a certificate of authenticity. Is that pretty cool? Alright, so. Here we are. Well, this is Miss Nunzi. My haunted doll. Um, if you're watching on Instagram, make sure you go to the full video on my YouTube channel. Brian from Spooky Laters. Other than that, this is Brian from Spooky Laters. Peace out.